Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a car with automatic transmission. It could be any automatic transmission. And you want to know what are the symptoms of bad transmission shifting solenoids? Stay with us, we'll explain that today, how it can affect your car and uh, uh, how people practically can simply destroy their transmission by doing something wrong. Make sure to stay until the end and we'll explain what it is. Okay, based on our experience, seeing what our clients do here at the shop and how to avoid those things. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money that way now let me explain here what we're talking about. This is automatic transmission, six speed automatic transmission. We drain the transmission fluid. Number one thing guys, people think that you should not change transmission fluid. That's the wrong perception. They'll say after I change the transmission fluid, car starting, started not shifting right or acting up. Okay, <laughs> I just dropped the two, but now let me explain, okay, what can cause that now. One thing, using the wrong type of transmission fluid i would recommend always to use original fluid only number two guys okay make sure that you check the fluid level the per the correct way once you add fluid if you don't add enough fluid or you overfill it okay that can cause troubles number three in some cases you may need to change the transmission fluid up to three times you wonder why okay because the first time you drain the fluid you get only about 50 to 60 percent of the fluid the second time okay uh, uh, and when you add fresh fluid that fresh fluid will remove deposits from the valve body from shifter solenoids all those you can see they have black deposits guys everywhere and that can clog things up so flush it two more times that way you will replace up to 90 95 percent of the transmission fluid in your transmission and it will clean everything really good now what are the symptoms of bad transmission solenoid they practically could be the same as having a completely trash trans transmission you wonder why pretty simple uh, that solenoid controls shifting okay torque converters and everything for instance that six speed transmission guys if you look at it it has eight solenoids right here one is the pressure line this is clutch a solenoid clutch b right here you have all the ud solenoid uh, this is for third fifth and reverse gear second and sixth gear and this is for the torque converter control solenoid so if one of those quits okay let's say third fifth uh, and reverse you may lose reverse you may lose third gear okay you may lose fifth gear you may get your vehicle stuck in gear that's one symptom number two not being able to shift second symptom number three not being able to go in reverse or forward number four guys okay you may not be able to move at all number five it could be where you have slipping kicking or hard shifts that can happen if the solenoids are slow they're sticking that can happen as well and uh, the transmission thinks it's ready but the solenoid will not release fast enough and that can cause slipping and kicking and hard shifts at the same time those are the, some of the most popular ones we have a special video that explains how to test transmission solenoids and how to clean transmission solenoids as well so please check it out if you need help with that thank you for watching and see you guys next time